American Comics. Knowing Everything, Starting with Investing in Gwen. Chapter 31. Seeing this message, Natasha Romanoff frowned slightly. First of all, this message is anonymous, so she does not know the identity of the other party. Secondly, she doesn't know what the purpose of the person who sent this message is, what if he has bad intentions towards her. Therefore, whether she wants to go to that place in hesitation. At this moment, Phil Coulson looked at several people in the room and said. Since we can't discuss the results, we will launch all the agents in New York to see if we can find out the key clues. Um. Ward and May nodded. Seeing that Natasha Romanoff was absent-minded, Phil Coulson asked, Miss Natasha Romanoff, do you have any questions? Although S.H.I.E.L.D. successfully recruited Natasha Romanoff to serve S.H.I.E.L.D., after all, she has only been in the job for a short time, and Phil Coulson cannot guarantee her absolute loyalty. After all, even Level 8 Agent John Garrett is a spy for Hydra. As far as he knows, Natasha Romanoff used to be a top agent trained by the Red House. Although he has betrayed that organization and successfully joined S.H.I.E.L.D., who can be sure if this is a bitter plan by the Red House to plant spies in S.H.I.E.L.D.? Therefore, for Natasha Romanoff, he has always maintained a certain degree of wariness. Without, Natasha Romanoff shook her head. Then is there any update on your investigation of Su Yu? Phil Coulson continued to press. No. I have been closely monitoring him, and there is nothing unusual about his behavior. Natasha Romanoff withheld information about Mike. She wanted to wait until she got a breakthrough from Su Yu before making any plans. If her previous guesses are true, then Su Yu and Hydra are absolute opposites. Such a stance is very beneficial to S.H.I.E.L.D. She was afraid that after telling all these things now, what actions S.H.I.E.L.D. would take against Su Yu would cause unnecessary trouble. Um. Phil Coulson nodded. Su Yu has a secret, that's for sure. Now our main enemy is Hydra, as long as we are sure that Su Yu will not harm the society and is not our enemy, don't provoke him too much. Phil Coulson also has a lot of information on Su Yu. The energy in this young man is very clear. S.H.I.E.L.D. will not treat someone as an imaginary enemy just because he has a super ability. Okay. Natasha Romanoff responded. Phil Coulson's thinking coincides with hers. After the meeting ended, Natasha Romanoff looked at the text messages in her mobile phone and fell into a tangle. After a while, she took a deep breath. Hee hee, as an agent, even if you know that someone has bad intentions for me, you should go and inquire about it. I didn't expect that after a few days of Anshung's life, I became less courageous. Natasha Romanoff smiled self-deprecatingly, and then drove to the place mentioned in the text message. At the same time, Su Yu also walked out of the rich man's club. At this moment, he is refreshed and in better condition than ever before. He looked at his watch, it was 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Huh, I always feel like I forgot something important. What exactly is it? Su Yu frowned and thought for a while, then suddenly he thought of something. Natasha Romanoff, by the way, at 3 o'clock this afternoon, Natasha Romanoff will be besieged by the agents of the Red House. The location seems to be. Thinking of this, Su Yu planned to go over and get involved. Because, when the system was scanned for Natasha Romanoff, her investment index was as high as four stars. This is also the main reason why Su Yu let her go that day without killing her. Besides, hiding his identity is an easy thing for Su Yu. It was nearly three o'clock in the afternoon, and Natasha Romanoff drove to the gate of an abandoned manor in the suburbs of New York. She got out of the car and looked around, feeling a little uneasy. Because this place is too remote, it is very suitable for hijacking, kidnapping or murder. At this moment, the gate of the manor opened slowly, but no one came out to greet him. Natasha Romanoff hesitated for a moment, and finally stepped into the gate. Behind her, the door was slowly closed again. I'm here, should you show up too? Natasha Romanoff stood in the middle of the yard, shouting. Just then, he heard a footstep. Then, from behind the manor, a tall man in a gray suit flashed out, and finally the man stood a few meters away from her, looking at her indifferently. Who are you? She sensed a familiar aura from this man. Red House advanced agent, Salvov Ivanov. Hearing the man's introduction, Natasha Romanov understood that she had been tricked. Swipe. She was extremely fast, took out a pistol from her waist, and was about to shoot at the man in front of her. 
Natasha Romanoff knew very well that they would never let her go if they betrayed the Red House. It's just that he didn't expect that the other party would use such a method to seduce himself this time. However, her gun was not aimed at the man yet. Just hearing a, bang, Natasha Romanoff's pistol was hit by a bullet and dropped instantly. Sniper. Natasha Romanoff's pupils narrowed. With a flash of figure, he quickly ran towards the door. However, at this moment, she felt a pain in her shoulder, and when she turned her head, she found that there was an anesthetic there. Cursing angrily, Natasha Romanoff pulled out the anesthetic and continued running towards the door. However, just when she barely ran to the door. But he was blocked by two strong men, and they punched out at the same time. Boom. Natasha Romanoff's body was knocked back again and again by huge amounts of force. As soon as she stabilized her figure, she saw a group of figures approaching from all directions, surrounding her in the middle. Natasha Romanoff, don't struggle anymore, come back with us to accept the organization's trial. Natasha Romanoff, don't struggle anymore, come back with us to accept the organization's trial. A dozen figures surrounded Natasha Romanoff, and the black muzzle of the gun was aimed at all parts of her body. At this time, the anesthetic just now had a faint effect, and Natasha Romanoff felt her body becoming more and more stiff, and she was slowly losing control. I'm still careless. Natasha Romanoff's heart has sunk to rock bottom. In such a situation, it is not so difficult to escape. At this moment, none of these people noticed that a figure in a mecca floated quietly in the sky a few hundred meters away, it was Su Yu. He saw everything that happened just now. This Natasha Romanoff doesn't seem as smart as I thought. Such an obvious trap, she stepped in alone. Moreover, the information given by the system at the beginning shows that Natasha Romanoff finally escaped with difficulty. Su Yu looked at the scene below and really didn't understand how she could do this with Natasha Romanoff's strength. It doesn't matter, I've seen enough drama, it's my turn to play. Su Yu said something to himself, and quickly rushed down. Put her in chains. Salbov Ivanov waved his hand and said coldly. When the voice fell, two Red House agents came to Natasha Romanoff with handcuffs and shackles respectively. Natasha Romanoff's eyes flickered slightly, she wanted to resist, but in the end she restrained the impulse. The man was about to put handcuffs on Natasha Romanoff's hands. Suddenly, a figure descended from the sky and landed heavily in the crowd. Boom. A large hole was smashed out of the solid ground in an instant. A terrifying shockwave spread to the surroundings. Whether it was Natasha Romanoff or the agents of the Red House, they were all staggered by this force. Some people even fell directly to the ground. When Natasha Romanoff saw the figure in the silver mecca, doubts flashed across his face. Iron Man. As soon as this idea flashed, she immediately denied it. With the current technological level of Stark Industries, it is absolutely impossible to create such an advanced mecca. Then what is his identity? Why did it appear at this time? Is he an enemy or a friend? A series of thoughts flashed through Natasha Romanoff's mind. Enemy attack. Fire. Salbov Ivanov is indeed an advanced agent trained by the Red House. He stabilized his position so quickly. He quickly took out a pistol, bang bang bang, and shot at Suyu three times in a row. However, facing such an attack, Suyu didn't even bother to dodge. Those bullets hit the mecha and were all bounced off easily. The other agents also drew their pistols after receiving the leader's order. Su Yu glanced at them and said indifferently, the realm of gravity. The next moment, a terrible gravity was created out of thin air, and the surrounding Red House agents, except Natasha Romanoff, were deliberately avoided. Everyone was pressed to the ground by this terrifying pressure, unable to move. How can it be? What kind of power is this? Salbov Ivanov looked at Su Yu in disbelief. They are all blood-licking characters, and they don't know how many dangerous opponents they have faced. This is the first time I have encountered a terrifying guy like Su Yu who stood still and easily suppressed them all. Natasha Romanoff also looked at the robotman figure in disbelief. What ability is this? In an instant, everyone was suppressed to the ground, and there is no information about this person in SHIELD's database. Natasha Romanoff's eyes were horrified, and she always felt that the city of New York was somewhat incomprehensible, and there were endless powerful guys. It's just that she can clearly feel that this person doesn't seem to be hostile to her. 
Otherwise, he wouldn't have deliberately avoided her when activating the ability. Who are you and why are you attacking us? Salbov Ivanov raised his head with difficulty, and asked Su Yu. It doesn't matter who I am, what matters is that you are going to die. Su Yu's tone was extremely indifferent. Since he decided to make a move, it was doomed that these guys had no chance of surviving. The next moment, Su Yu increased the gravity ten times. Puff puff puff. Everyone, including Salbov Ivanov, spat out a mouthful of blood. Afterwards, the light in their eyes became more and more slack, and their vitality quickly disappeared. Under the pressure of Su Yu's gravity, their internal organs were overwhelmed and damaged beyond recognition, so there was no possibility of them surviving. After finishing these people, Su Yu turned to look at Natasha Romanov. Due to the influence of the anesthetic, Natasha Romanov couldn't stand upright, and sat down on the ground with a plop. Just when Su Yu hesitation wanted to place Natasha Romanov, the familiar system prompt sounded in his mind. Ding, investment Natasha Romanov is successful, investment feedback is in progress. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a master servant contract. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a super ability advanced card. Hint, the host can choose any super ability of its own, and then use this card to enhance it. Hearing the system's notification tone, Su Yu's eyes lit up. The system feedback this time is interesting. Master Servant Contract, this is a magical item with a strange pattern of gold, similar to a magic scroll. The method used is very simple, just take a drop of the contracted person's blood and drop it on the scroll, and then recite the spell to complete the contract ceremony. As long as the contract ceremony is established and completed, and the master-servant relationship is confirmed, the contractee will always be loyal to the master and never betray. After reading the introduction of the system, Suyu was overjoyed. Hey, I didn't expect the method of using this thing to be so simple. Natasha Romanov is a troublesome woman who has been investigating me secretly. If you let it go, you might create trouble for yourself in the future. Now that you have this master-servant contract, you can completely solve this trouble. Su Yu looked around and found that the place was extremely remote, except for himself and Natasha Romanov, it was impossible for anyone else to appear. Just complete the contract ceremony here. Su Yu thought to himself. Then, with a thought in his mind, the master-servant contract appeared in his palm out of thin air. He unfolded the contract, then came to Natasha Romanov, and laid the contract on the ground. Natasha Romanov looked at Su Yu suspiciously, not understanding what he wanted to do. Who are you? What you up to? Natasha Romanov asked hastily. The contract that Su Yu placed in front of her made her feel panicked, always feeling that something bad would happen. Who I am? Since you want to know so much, let's grant your wish now. When the words fell, the alloy on Su Yu's face faded away like water waves, revealing his handsome face in front of Natasha Romanov. How is it possible? It turned out to be you. Natasha Romanov exclaimed. She had countless speculations before, but she never expected that the guy who took out the agents of the Red House was actually Su Yu. At this moment, Natasha Romanov felt that what Su Yu was hiding was too deep. It would not be an exaggeration to say that the information obtained from his previous investigations was the tip of the iceberg. Definitely it's me, otherwise who do you think would waste this effort to save you? Su Yu said with a smile. Hearing this, Natasha Romanov's mind did not relax at all. Since Su Yu dared to expose her identity in front of her, it meant that she was sure that there was no way for her to expose these secrets. Why does he have such confidence? Does he want to kill me? Natasha Romanov's expression kept changing, quickly analyzing the current situation. Su Yu seemed to see through what she was thinking, and said lightly. You think I'm going to kill you? Hee <laughs> hee, you underestimate me. Dare to reveal these secrets in front of you, I will naturally have a way to make you obedient. As soon as the words fell to the ground, I saw the tip of the middle finger of Su Yu's right hand, those alloys were rapidly changing shapeshifting, forming a sharp needle in the blink of an eye. Cooperate obediently. As he spoke, he took Natasha Romanov's left hand and lightly stabbed her fingertips. Then a drop of bright red blood condensed on Natasha Romanov's fingertip. What you up to? Let me go. Natasha Romanov instinctively sensed the danger, and tried all her strength to pull her hand away from Su Yu's. 
However, not to mention that her body was not anesthetized, even if her body remained in good condition, she would never be able to break free from Suyu's palm. Ta ta, the blood from her fingertips still dripped on the contract. Suyu threw her away, and then began to chant the spell. With your blood and my soul, under the witness of the Supreme God, I will conclude a master-servant contract from now on. Just after the spell was finished, the drop of blood dropped by Natasha Romanoff was absorbed by the contract. Seeing this scene, Natasha Romanoff's heart was pounding. Is this an ancient contract ceremony? As a top agent who has lived for nearly a hundred years, Natasha Romanoff can be considered a well-informed person. Once, she saw in an ancient book that there were some weird necromancers in this world who were good at magic. Can control the fate of others through contract rituals. Originally, she thought that these were all fabricated things, which were pure nonsense. However, what Suyu is doing now is very similar to certain rituals recorded in that ancient book. Master-servant contract. It's a master-servant contract. At this time, Natasha Romanoff realized that when Suyu chanted the spell just now, he mentioned the word, master-servant contract. This wants to make me his servant. Thinking of such dire consequences, Natasha Romanoff completely panicked. At this moment, the contract ceremony has not been completely successful, and she must stop it all. However, Natasha Romanoff sadly found that she seemed to have no other choice but to accept her fate. Suddenly, she gritted her teeth, took out a dagger, and stabbed herself in the heart without any hesitation. Rather than becoming someone else's servant, it's better to die, at least this way you won't lose your freedom. Seeing this scene, Suyu showed a hint of sarcasm. Hey, I have a very strong personality, but unfortunately it's useless. The realm of gravity. The next second, a terrible pressure was on Natasha Romanoff. Pressing her figure completely on the ground, under the pressure, she couldn't even move her fingers. Ah, you. Natasha Romanoff cursed at Su Yu. Su Yu turned a blind eye to this. At this time, the contract ceremony finally reached the final stage. After Natasha Romanoff's blood was absorbed by the contract, the contract suddenly burst into a bright light. Whoosh. In the end, the contract turned into a stream of light, which instantly entered Su Yu's mind. At this time, Su Yu found that Natasha Romanoff, who had been cursing constantly, became quiet. At the same time, there seems to be a strange connection between him and Natasha Romanoff. Su Yu felt that at this moment he could manipulate Natasha Romanoff's life and death with just one thought. It's done. Su Yu was overjoyed. He put away the realm of gravity, looked at Natasha Romanoff who was sitting on the ground, and asked lightly. Natasha Romanoff, do you know who I am? You are the master of. Natasha Romanoff. You are the master of. Natasha Romanoff. Black Widow Natasha Romanoff looked at Su Yu with fanaticism at this moment. After concluding the master-servant contract, she believed that Su Yu was her only master from the bottom of her soul. He is a person more important than her life, and he must carry out all his demands and orders unconditionally, even if it means taking a life. Hearing Natasha Romanoff's voice, Su Yu had a look of satisfaction on his face. Hey, is this the effect of the master-servant contract? It's really horribly unreasonable. Su Yu thought to himself. You know, it is quite difficult to make a person surrender and obey a person from the soul. Natasha Romanoff, tell me honestly, what does S.H.I.E.L.D. do to me? If it was before, Natasha Romanoff might still have reservations about the question. As for now, she confessed everything she knew. After S.H.I.E.L.D.'s internal discussion, I am currently in charge of investigating the secrets hidden in the master. As long as it is determined that the master will not do anything harmful to society and will not become an enemy of S.H.I.E.L.D., then S.H.I.E.L.D. will not take any action against the master for the time being. Hearing this answer, Su Yu was a little surprised. He didn't expect people from S.H.I.E.L.D. to be so knowledgeable. That's good, as long as they don't come to provoke me, I will naturally not attack them. Su Yu said lightly. With the master's strength, if S.H.I.E.L.D. provokes you, it will definitely pay a heavy price. Phil Coulson is aware of this and doesn't do something stupid. Natasha Romanoff is completely on the same side as Su Yu at this moment, without the slightest awareness that she is still a member of S.H.I.E.L.D. This Phil Coulson is pretty smart. Su Yu nodded secretly. Okay, let's stop here, let me clean up here first. As soon as the words fell to the ground, 
Suyu's palm quickly condensed a flame jet and pointed it at the corpses on the ground. Boom. Blue-purple flames gushed out, instantly covering the corpses on the ground. In less than two minutes, all the corpses on the ground were burned to ashes. It's done, this way, no one will know that more than a dozen Red House agents died here. After speaking, Suyu opened his arms to Natasha Romanov. Master, what are you? Natasha Romanov was a little puzzled. Let's go, I'll take you flying. Su Yu laughed. Okay, master. Natasha Romanov obediently walked in front of Su Yu, wrapping her arms tightly around Su Yu's waist. The next moment, under the tyrannical impetus of the mech, the two of them soared into the sky. A minute later, Su Yu put Natasha Romanov down in the middle of nowhere. After all, Natasha Romanov is still an advanced agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. In Su Yu's capacity, it is really not suitable for the two to walk together in an open and above-board manner. Master, I have some doubts. Natasha Romanoff asked Su Yu. You say. Where did that lizard monster go? Has it been solved by you? Natasha Romanoff asked the first question in her mind. That's right, that lizard monster has been injected with the antidote and turned into a normal human being. He won't have a chance to come out and cause damage in the future. Su Yu didn't hide this matter. He knew that after signing the master-servant contract, Natasha Romanoff was more loyal than anyone else. Second question, was the branch of Hydra also taken away by the master? Natasha Romanoff asked the second doubt in her heart. In the past, she wasn't sure if Su Yu was responsible for this incident. As for now, she is 90% sure. That's right, the branch of Hydra was also destroyed by me. Dare to do something to my subordinates, that is the price they have to pay. Any other questions? Su Yu asked Natasha Romanov. No more. Natasha Romanov smiled. Su Yu nodded, and then told Natasha Romanov. You can properly disclose some information about me to S.H.I.E.L.D. After all, as an advanced agent, you shouldn't be unable to find out anything. This will arouse suspicion. Okay master, I understand what to do. Natasha Romanov responded respectfully. Well, if you have any questions, please contact me in time. After finishing speaking, Suyu's body turned into a stream of light and soared into the sky. After returning home, Suyu decisively took out the Super Ability Advanced card from the system space. This is a distinguished card in purple and black with a gold stamp on it. Is this the Super Ability Advanced card? According to the system, I can designate a super ability that already exists on my body, and then use the power of this card to upgrade it. Then which super ability should I upgrade? Su Yu murmured. System, open the personal information panel. Wow, a blue light curtain that only he can see unfolds in front of him. Name, Su Yu. Age, 23 years old. Super ability, master of Chinese arts, spider telepathy, spider strength. Spider Reaction, Super Regeneration, Animal Control, Steel Defense, Gravity Realm. Seeing the series of super ability information listed by the system, Suyu was also a little dumbfounded. Do I already have so many super abilities? Then which one should I choose for upgrade? Fighting Skills. It seems to be very strong. Spider Strength. I usually crush others in power fights, and it seems that I don't need to upgrade for the time being. Steel Defense. With nano armor, there is no need to worry about defense. Su Yu was caught in a tangle. After a while, he finally made up his mind. Forget it, let's choose super regeneration. No matter at any time, the life-saving ability is the first. Otherwise, what will happen to my billions of assets if something happens one day? What will happen to my dear Gwen? What about the thousands of girls who are waiting for my luck? Su Yu stopped hesitation, and said decisively to the system, system, immediately use the super ability advanced card to strengthen the super speed regeneration. As soon as Su Yu's words fell, the noble card turned into streams of light and poured into his body. The next moment, a majestic vitality erupted from his body, constantly nourishing the cells in his body. So comfortable. Su Yu felt that the pore of his whole body was opened, and a warm and comfortable feeling enveloped his whole body. That feeling is hard to explain. After more than 10 minutes, this strengthening was completely over. Ding, congratulations to the host, the super speed regeneration has been strengthened. 
System, to what extent can my current regenerative ability reach? Su Yu asked the system. Now he can't effectively measure the limit of his body, he can't cut himself into ten or eight pieces, and then see if he can recover, right? As long as it is not all-round destruction at the cell level, the host can recover 100%. Hearing the result, Su Yu's face showed ecstasy. To restore this level of ability, it is very difficult to want to die. What's more, with Su Yu's strength, ordinary people can't destroy him to that extent. Time passed, and three days passed in a flash. Just after waking up in the morning, Su Yu received good news from Connors. Boss, I have successfully developed the centipede serum. Hearing the news, Su Yu was refreshed, so soon. The main reason is that the recipe given by the boss is very detailed, and I just need to follow the steps. I have conducted biological experiments, and the results show that this serum is perfect without any negative effects. Kunzner's tone couldn't hide his excitement. How much to make? Su Yu asked. Currently only five pieces are made. If you need more, I can. Before Connors finished speaking, Su Yu interrupted. Enough, don't do so much. I'm rushing to the laboratory now to see how this serum is. After hanging up the phone, Su Yu woke Gwen up from sleep. Honey, it's time to get up. Let's go to the lab now. Dr. Connors has developed a centipede serum. Su Yu kissed Gwen's face lightly, speaking softly. Gwen woke up in a daze and sat up quickly when she heard the news. The professor's movements are too fast, right? These days, she is busy with the school graduation ceremony and hasn't been to the laboratory much, so she doesn't know the progress of the experiment. As the most talented scientist at Osborne, it's definitely the best deal in the world to hire him to our company. Su Yu smiled, then began to get dressed and get up. Honey, get up quickly, I can't wait. I don't know what it would be like for my dear Miss Gwen to become a super ability. Half an hour later, Su Yu showed up in the lab with Gwen. Inside a transparent glass refrigerator, there are four liquids that are as crystal clear as amber. Su Yu looked at Connors with some doubts. Doctor, isn't it five? What about the other one? Connors laughed dryly, that one has already been injected into my body. Hearing his answer like this, Su Yu was a little speechless, he is now used to this guy's habit of experimenting with himself. Boss, are you sure you want to inject centipede serum? This kind of thing may not be useful to you, in case it has a bad influence. Connors looked at Su Yu with some puzzlement. You must know that when he turned into a lizard man, he had fought against Su Yu more than once. Every time he was crushed by Su Yu in all directions. He compared the lizard serum with the centipede serum, and the lizard serum was stronger in terms of strength alone. Back then, Su Yu crushed himself injected with lizard serum in terms of strength. Therefore, Connors doesn't know whether this kind of thing is useful to Su Yu or whether it will have some negative effects. You'll know if you try it. Su Yu said lightly. As for Connors' worries, in Su Yu's view, it was completely superfluous. Aside, Gwen blinked, she could understand every word they said. But the meaning expressed in combination made her a little confused. Why is Dr. Connors worried that this centipede serum won't work on Su Yu? Why is it possible to have a bad influence on Su Yu? Isn't it said that this is a perfect gene strengthening agent without any side effects? Thoughts kept flashing through Gwen's mind. Su, is it possible that this genetic medicine is not perfect and has side effects? If injecting it is dangerous, it's better to give it up. She looked at Su Yu with worry in her eyes. Don't worry. Even if it doesn't work for me, it won't do much damage. Su Yu touched Gwen's little head, and comforted him softly. Afterwards, he took out a centipede serum from the refrigerator and injected it into his body. Both Connors and Gwen looked at him nervously. After the centipede serum was injected into the body, Su Yu felt a burst of fiery energy erupting in the body, constantly washing the limbs and bones. Under the effect of this force, he could feel that his body was being strengthened slowly. But compared to the first injection of the perfect gene serum, this feeling of becoming stronger is much weaker. Five minutes later, the strengthening process of the centipede serum on Su Yu was finally over. Su, how are you feeling? Gwen asked quickly. Connors also stared at Su Yu without blinking, wondering if the centipede serum had worked on him. It feels very good, and the strength is much stronger than before. 
Su Yu clenched his fist and smiled lightly. He could feel that after injecting the centipede serum, his strength should be strengthened by about 30%. For this result, Su Yu is already very satisfied. On the side, Connors also heaved a sigh of relief. At the same time, he was secretly muttering in his heart, Su Yu's power was so strong before, and now he has been strengthened again, he wonders how far his strength can be enhanced. Oh, it's good that there are no side effects. Gwen finally felt relieved. Su, let me inject one too. After speaking, she also took out a centipede serum from the refrigerator. Su Yu told her before that after the serum was produced, she would also inject one to strengthen her body. In this way, if danger comes, she will not have the ability to resist. Moreover, only a body that has been strengthened can fully display the strength of the mecha. Well, yes. However, my dear, what I want to remind you is that after injecting this serum, the evolution process will be accompanied by some pain. Su Yu had this feeling just now when he injected this serum. It's just that his constitution is strong enough, and this serum has limited effect on him, so the pain is not severe. But if you were a common man, you might not be able to bear it lightly like him. The boss is right, Miss Gwen, but the process of evolution will be accompanied by some pain, just endure it. Connors said. However, this pain is nothing compared to when the lizard serum was injected. After all, when he was injected with lizard serum, he had already transformed into another kind of creature, and the process was quite sour. Hearing that both of them said that, Gwen said indifferently. Don't underestimate me, my endurance is very strong. I can definitely bear this pain. She rolled up her sleeves and injected the serum into the blood vessels in her arm without any hesitation. The next moment, the violent evolution began. Gwen's fair skin instantly turned red. The blood vessels on the arm are stretched out, which looks extremely exaggerated. Oh, shit. Gwen felt everywhere in her body, and there was no place that didn't hurt. My dear, bear with me a little longer, it will be over soon. On the side, Su Yu looked distressed. Um. Gwen nodded stubbornly. Ten minutes later, the strengthening of Gwen by the centipede serum was finally over. Gwen finally couldn't hold on anymore, her body limp on the ground like mud. Honey, I persevered. Gwen said weakly. Although the physical function has been strengthened to a very terrible degree. But that constant pain took all of Gwen's strength. You're the best, Gwen. Su Yu hugged Gwen by the waist. He was going to give Gwen a good bath. After all, this is the first evolution, and the body does not know how many impurities it will excrete. Boss, what do you plan to do with the remaining two serums? Connors asked Su Yu. Let's put them here first, and I'll take them to a safer place later. Having said that, he paused and exhorted. Drive Connors, only the three of us know about the centipede serum. Don't worry boss, these secrets will never be leaked from me. Connors solemnly promised. Ha ha, that's good. When the words fell, Su Yu walked out of the laboratory with Gwen in his arms. After helping Gwen clean up, the two came to an underground testing ground. After Su Yu punched through the sandbag with one punch and used up the punch strength testing machine, he wanted to avoid such embarrassing things from happening again. Su Yu made great efforts to build a large testing ground underground in Waiu Pharmaceutical. Once inside the proving ground, he led Gwen to an oversized barbell. This is a barbell I specially ordered someone to build in order to test the strength of super ability users. Try and see if you can lift it up. Su Yu pointed to the barbell and said. Uh-huh. Gwen was a little eager to try, but when she saw the weight marked on the barbell, five tons, her little face suddenly collapsed. Su, isn't this too heavy? Is this a weight a human can lift? Su Yu smiled and encouraged. Strictly speaking, we who have been injected with centipede serum and common humans are already two species, and their strength is already vastly different. You try it first, if it doesn't work, let's change to a lighter one. All right. Gwen nodded. She bent down, grabbed the barbell with both hands, took a deep breath, and tried to lift the barbell with all her strength. But what happened next was beyond her expectations. The five-ton barbell was lifted with ease, and she was even able to turn it around a few times. Oh my god, is that really a five-ton barbell? Why does it feel so light? Gwen exclaimed, eyes full of disbelief. It seems that five tons is not Gwen's limit. Su Yu touched his chin and said. Gwen, try a ten-ton one. 
Su Yu suggested. Okay. This time, Gwen was full of confidence in herself. She added two plates to the barbell and snatched again. Although it was a bit difficult, she managed to lift the barbell up. In order to test the limits of her strength, Su Yu put her to another test. It was finally detected that Gwen's strength limit was 12 tons. After testing her strength, Su Yu took her to a boxing test. After Su Yu briefly explained the technique of exerting force to her, Gwen punched the bullseye hard. Bang, the dull beating sound echoed throughout the underground test field. Diddy D. 16 tons. Looking at the scarlet number on the display, Su Yu nodded secretly. He is quite satisfied with the result. Su, how is my performance? Gwen asked Su Yu. Honey, you're doing really well. Su Yu praised without hesitation. Su, can you test it too? I want to see how strong you are now. Gwen's eyes were full of curiosity. Good. Su Yu also wanted to know his current strength and punching power. A few minutes later. 35 tons, 76 tons. This is the strength and punch value tested by Su Yu. This result stunned Gwen. How could this be? Su, we were injected with the same centipede serum, so the power gap is too outrageous, right? At this moment, she doubted herself a little, could she be a good for nothing? Seeing that Gwen was a little depressed, Su Yu quickly relieved. Honey, I did three body strengthening exercises in a row to get this result. We are different. Three times. Gwen asked in surprise. This matter is complicated, and I will tell you in detail later. At the same time, in the topmost office of the Hanmer Industrial Building. Justin Hammer, the helm of Hammer Industries, is plotting something with a disheveled, rugged-looking man. The rough-looking man named Ivan Vanke is a top physicist and talented mechanical engineer. Justin, I really didn't expect you to be able to get the detailed production materials of Stark Industries' arc reactor. This method is really powerful. Ivan Vanke said to Justin Hammer. Hey, we not only got these materials, but also made mechas that can be used in actual combat. After speaking, Justin took out a remote control and lightly pressed a button. The next moment, accompanied by the vibration of the floor, two mechas walked in front of them with heavy steps. Seeing these two mechs, Ivan Wonk's eyes lit up. Standing up abruptly, he walked to the front of the mech, stroking and looking at it constantly, his face full of fascination. For scientific research monsters like them, the charm of mechas is far greater than those hot beauties. Justin, tell me, what's your purpose in coming to me? Ivan Vanke didn't believe that Justin hired him just to show off these mechs. Seeing Ivan Vanke's temper is so anxious, Justin no longer keeps it up. Although these mechas can already be used in actual combat, there is still a big gap compared with the mechas made by that guy Stark. So, I want to use your power to improve all these mechs. In this way, we, Hanmer Industries, can completely overwhelm Stark in the field of arms. Hearing this request, Ivan Vanke did not directly agree, but asked a very critical question. What is the driving element of the arc reactor? Palladium. However, our informant got information that Tony seems to have acquired a brand new element from someone named Su Yu. This element can not only completely replace palladium, but also has greater advantages in energy supply. Justin crossed his arms and said solemnly. Oh, a brand new element. With your temperament, you should think of a way to get this thing, right? There was a mocking look on the corner of Ivan Vanke's mouth. He was full of contempt for Justin's shameless behavior from the bottom of his heart. Definitely. However, that Tony guy is extremely strict about this. Also, there are too many people paying attention to him now, including the military, so I can't easily attack him. Justin's tone was extremely flat. Oh. It sounds like you're going to target that person named Su Yu. Hey, it's really sad for him to be targeted by you cunning fellow. Ivan Vanke looked optimistic. I can only blame him for being too weak. In this world, if you only have money but no power, you are like a big fat sheep. This shot is not only the new element he has that can replace palladium, but also his assets. I will not let go. Justin's eyes flashed with greed. At this moment, Su Yu never imagined that Iron Man's nemesis Justin Hammer would actually set his mind on him. When he and Gwen came out of the Chinese pharmaceutical company, the sky had completely darkened. Gwen, 
I heard that there is a new barbecue restaurant opened on New York Avenue, and the taste is very good. Shall we try it together? When she heard that she was going to eat barbecue, Gwen nodded repeatedly. Since the centipede serum was injected today, Gwen obviously felt that his appetite was much larger than before. The meals she ate at noon had already been digested, and at this moment her stomach had started to make protesting noises. Yes, Sue. You can go anywhere you want. Gwen said obediently. The two drove quickly on the wide road. There was explosive DJ dance music playing in the car, Suyu was holding the steering wheel with one hand, while stroking Gwen's slender thigh with the other hand. Suyu couldn't help sighing secretly, the life of the rich is really wonderful. At this moment, the, digital watch, mecha on his and Gwen's wrists sounded an alarm at the same time. Alarm, alert, the radar has detected two mechs approaching rapidly. Alarm, alert, the radar has detected two mechs approaching rapidly. Hearing the system's siren, Suyu's heart moved. Huh. Mecca. Could it be Tony? However, just to be cautious, he still told Gwen who was beside him. Gwen, activate the Mecca immediately and protect yourself. Um. Gwen nodded obediently. Then, she tapped her finger on the screen of the, digital watch. In the next second, the nano Mecca spread from her wrist to her whole body like mercury, covering her whole body in the blink of an eye. Sue, don't you activate the Mecca. Seeing that Su Yu still didn't move, Gwen asked in surprise. Don't worry, I know what's going on. Su Yu said lightly. With his current recovery ability, unless a nuclear bomb is released on him, don't kill him. Less than five seconds after the siren sounded, two black mechas arrived in front of Su Yu's car in an instant. Haidong Dong's muzzle was aimed at Su Yu and Gwen. However, what surprised the people driving the two mechas was that they saw a figure in a silver mecha sitting in the co-pilot seat of Su Yu. Moreover, judging from the style and advanced level of that mech, it seems to far exceed the iron bumps made by their hammer industries. Squeak. Accompanied by the screeching sound of brakes, Su Yu stopped the car. He opened the car door and walked out, shouting at the two mechas blocking the way, Who are you? What's the purpose of stopping us? Seeing the target get off the car, a dull male voice came from one of the racks. You are Su Yu, right? If you are sensible, come with us. You have something our boss is interested in. Hearing this, Su Yu was completely annoyed and laughed. Oh. It seems that you are trying to kidnap me. He felt a little funny in his heart. In New York, there are still people who dare to attack him. You are right to think so. The voice inside the rack was slightly mocking. Suddenly, with a, bang, Gwen pushed open the car door and came out. The originally close-fitting mecha started to swell slowly, and in the blink of an eye, it became the same file size as the opposite mecha. Sue, can I make a move? Gwen said with some joy. She really wants to know how strong she is in controlling the mech at this moment. Sue Yu looked at the two mechas on the opposite side, smiled and said, choose one at will and strike gently, so as not to kill the people inside. Okay. When the voice fell, Gwen drove the mech and rushed towards the black mech on the right. As soon as Gwen got out of the car, the mecha on the opposite side was full of energy and was on guard all the time. Therefore, as soon as Gwen took action, the other side immediately responded. Chug chug. Intensive artillery fire poured towards Gwen's body. However, for such an attack, Gwen had no intention of dodging at all. Clang clang clang. Those bullets hit the mecha on Gwen's body, but did not cause any damage. Your attack is too weak, replace me. Gwen chuckled. The palm of his right hand aimed at the mech. With a sound of, Kai, a blue laser beam as thick as an arm shot out, hitting the mech in an instant. The next moment, there was a loud bang, and the mech exploded instantly, like a bomb being detonated. A powerful shockwave blasted in all directions. Whoosh. Su Yu's figure turned into a bolt of lightning, and he retreated tens of meters away in an instant, avoiding the explosion impact of the mecha. As for Gwen, she was a little confused. Although Su Yu repeatedly reminded her that the weapon system of the nano mecha is very powerful, and the output power should be controlled when it is activated. She never expected that even though she had already controlled the output power, the mecha would still be blown up in an instant. She turned her head to look at Su Yu in the distance, and spread her hands innocently. Su, I didn't know this weapon system was so powerful. The opponent's mecha seems to be too strong to fight. 
Hearing this, Su Yu's lips twitched slightly. He looked at the mecha that had turned into fragments, and he was sure that the guy driving the mecha had already reported to God. Gwen's sudden shot really startled the other mech pilots. He didn't expect that his companion would be killed instantly by someone. Realizing that something was wrong, he manipulated the mecha and wanted to leave. Hee hee, want to run now. It's too late. As soon as the mecha was lifted into the air, Suyu's powerful hands grabbed the ankle. The next moment, he swung it hard. The huge mecha completely lost control and was smashed to the ground by a force. Catch cha cha, chi chi chi. The broken mecha was powered on and wandered around with lightning, and it was completely scrapped. Su Yu slammed Bala on the mecha, pulling out a comatose figure. It was then stuffed into the trunk of the car. At this time, the mecha on Gwen's body faded away, and she looked at Su Yu solemnly. Su, you seem to be being watched. It's okay, I'll have a good trial later to see which blunt guy dares to attack me. Su Yu's tone was full of killing intent. Seeing that the entire driveway was blocked by the chaos they created, Su Yu didn't stay any longer, and drove quickly away with Gwen. He couldn't wait to know who was behind the scenes. In the dark secret room, Su Yu pulled out a water pipe, and the icy cold water spurted on a bearded man who was covered in scars and fell into a coma. Stimulated by the ice water, the bearded man slowly opened his eyes. The moment he saw Su Yu's face clearly, his pupils shrank suddenly, and his body couldn't help trembling. He didn't forget that when he was driving the mecha soaring into the sky, the young man in front of him grabbed his ankle and fell heavily to the ground. The powerful inertia instantly destroyed the mecha, and he fell into a coma. At this moment, realizing that he had fallen into the hands of this terrifying man, the bearded man was trembling. Hee hee, are you awake? I won't talk nonsense with you, tell me who is behind the scenes who ordered you to kidnap me, and I will let you go. Otherwise, I will let you know what life is better than death. Su Yu's tone was extremely cold. Hearing Su Yu's threat, the bearded man hurriedly begged for mercy. Mr. Su, please let me go. I was also instructed by someone to kidnap you. There is no enmity between us at all. The bearded man knelt down in front of Su Yu, crying while snotting his nose. Boom. With one kick, Su Yu kicked the bearded man three or four meters away. Disgusted. Who ordered you to do this? What is the purpose? Justin Hammer. Justin Hammer instructed us to do this. As for his purpose, I don't know. He just told us to bring you to him safely. Hearing this man's answer, Su Yu was a little surprised. Justin Hammer. He is no stranger to this person, the helm of Hammer Industries, one of the top arms suppliers in the world. I heard that a large part of the country's national defense equipment is purchased from the Hammer Company. In terms of economic strength, this is a giant. It's just that Su Yu doesn't understand that there shouldn't be any intersection between the two of them. Why did that guy suddenly send someone to attack him? After pondering for a moment, Su Yu suddenly figured out something, the new element. It should be related to the new element that I gave Iron Man to replace the palladium element. It's just that this guy's hand Duanyi is too despicable. Besides these, what else do you know? Su Yu asked with a big beard. No, I'm just a small role in Hammer Industries, and I don't know much about it. The bearded man said in trepidation. Hee hee, is this gone? You really have no value in existence. When the words fell to the ground, Su Yu came to Big Beard and grabbed his throat. When choosing a master in the next life, you must keep your eyes open, otherwise you will really be dead man. When the voice fell to the ground, he suddenly exerted force on his hand. With a click, the bearded man's neck was instantly pinched off. Throwing the bearded body aside casually, Su Yu walked out of the secret room. Su, did he explain it? Who is playing with your idea? Gwen asked with concern. Justin Hammer. Su Yu said. It's him, why? You probably don't have much to do with each other. Gwen frowned. The new element that replaces palladium. Don't forget, Hammer Industries and Stark Industries are the biggest competitors, and now they are both researching mechs. I guess Justin turned on me because he couldn't get that new element out of Tony. Listening to Su Yu's analysis, Gwen's face was extremely ugly. Su, what are you going to do? What should I do? Definitely call the door. If you dare to provoke me, you will have to pay ten times and a hundred times the price. Su Yu chuckled. Su, 
Justin Hammer's identity is extremely sensitive and cannot be casual. As the daughter of George Stacy, Gwen's vision is naturally much better than that of girls from common common families. She knew very well how much trouble would be caused if a person of Justin's level was moved. However, before she could finish her sentence, she was interrupted by Su Yu. Gwen, no matter at any time, the law of the jungle is the iron law. As long as I'm strong enough, it doesn't matter if I move Justin Hammer, Shield or the military, they may not dare to tear my face apart. Su Yu has a certain understanding of his own strength, besides, he is reasonable about this matter. Okay, I'll go back. When the words fell to the ground, the silver mecha quickly covered his whole body. He turned into a blue streamer and flew towards the direction of Hammer Industrial Building. The same room on the top floor of the Hammer Building. Justin Hammer was no longer as calm as before. At this moment, he was walking around the room like an ant on a hot pot. Seeing this scene, Ivan Banki frowned and said, What's going on? Is there no news about the person you sent? Justin shook his head and said worriedly, According to reason, with their strength, it is easy to bring back a common man. There is no reason to delay it for so long. There must be some accident. That guy can earn tens of billions of dollars in such a short period of time, how can such a character be so easy to deal with, Justin, you are a bit reckless this time. Ivan Banki said solemnly. Impossible. I investigated him in detail before the attack. He definitely doesn't have the force to fight against two mechas. It should be something wrong with the mech originally. Justin Hammer argued. At this moment, with a crash, the glass of the floor-to-ceiling window was instantly smashed by a silver figure. Justin and Ivan turned their heads to look at the same time, only to see a mecha flying towards them. Tony. Stark. What you up to? Justin Hammer shouted at the flying mecha. Tony. Sorry, Mr. Justin, you seem to have misunderstood something. Su Yu's voice came from inside the mecha. Afterwards, the mecha on his body quickly faded away and finally condensed on his wrist, forming an electronic watch. Seeing this scene, both Ivan Banki and Justin Hammer looked like they had seen a ghost. Nano Mech. They never imagined that this imaginary thing would show up in front of them one day. Hee hee, you two are very knowledgeable. Su Yu came to the wine cabinet on his own, poured himself a glass of red wine, and sat down on the sofa opposite the two. At this time, Justin finally recognized Su Yu's identity, are you? Su Yu. One of his hearts sank to the bottom in an instant, Su Yu appeared here, and it is self-evident what happened to his two subordinates. I'm a little surprised. I've never met him before, but Mr. Justin invited me to be a guest in such a warm way. Su Yu drank the red wine in his glass and mocked. Justin's face changed for a while, and finally he said with a dry smile, Ha ha, this is all a misunderstanding. I just asked them to convey my meaning, but I didn't expect them to offend Mr. Su. For this, I am very sorry. Seeing his hypocritical appearance, Su Yu was too lazy to talk nonsense, today I'm here to collect debts. Take your life for Hammer Industries, listen clearly, you are not qualified to bargain. Take your life for Hammer Industries, listen clearly, you are not qualified to bargain. Hearing this, Justin thought he had heard wrong. He never thought that Su Yu would say such arrogant words. Who is he? With hundreds of billions of dollars in hand, the helm of Hammer Industries, and even the military have deep-rooted relationships. However, Su Yu, a young man, threatened his life to steal the entire Hammer Industry. This kind of thing is simply a fantasy. Su Yu, you are kidding me, right? Justin's face twitched, his expression ugly. On the side, Ivan Wonk kept silent, but his eyes stayed on the mecha on Su Yu's body. Do you think it's necessary for me to joke with you? Su Yu sneered. The figure appeared in front of Justin in a teleport, grabbed his collar, and lifted it up. Dare to send your subordinates to kidnap me, you are very courageous. I've always had complaints and complaints, and goodness is rewarded with kindness. How can you offend me like this, can you just say sorry? Su Yu stared at Justin with cold eyes. The powerful aura exuding from his body made Justin almost out of breath. No matter how you threaten, it is impossible for me to agree to this condition. If you have the ability, you kill me, ha ha. Justin was hanging in the air, struggling constantly, but turned a blind eye to Su Yu's threat, and instead spoke provocatively. You seem to be sure that I dare not kill you. 
In this case, I will let you suffer a little bit. As soon as the words fell, Su Yu grabbed Justin's shoulder with the other hand and squeezed it hard. Crack! Justin let out a shrill scream along with the sound of bone breaking. Beads of sweat dripped down his cheeks. How is it? Will you agree to my conditions? Su Yu asked lightly. Don't even think about it. I won't give in to you. Justin stiffened his neck and said hard. Hee hee, the bones are quite hard. In the next second, Su Yu crushed the bone in Justin's other shoulder. Oh, you can change the terms, except Hanmer Industries, any other conditions can be negotiated. Seeing Su Yu's attack so ruthlessly, Justin's heart was a little terrified, and he softened his mouth. However, it was still Su Yu's cruel methods that answered him. Crack, the kneecap of his left leg was crushed again. Before he could catch his breath, the kneecap of his right leg was also pinched and shattered. After finishing all this, Su Yu casually threw Justin to the ground. Looking condescendingly at Justin lying on the ground like mud. Look, how nice it was to agree to my request just now, are you suffering now? I'll give you one last chance to transfer your hammer industry to me, how about it? Facing Su Yu's question, Justin's eyes were extremely resentful. Go to hell, you will never get hammer industries from me, never. Justin roared wildly. Su Yu looked at him coldly, and a finger-thick laser shot out from his palm, piercing Justin's head instantly. Blocked all the rest of his words in his throat. Seeing this scene, Ivan couldn't sit still, his face was full of shock. He never thought that Su Yu would actually dare to kill Justin. Doesn't he know how deep Justin's background is? You, you dare to kill him. Do you know how much trouble this can cause you? Ivan Banki pointed at Su Yu, his voice trembling. He he, where is the trouble? As far as I know, the military is very interested in Tony. Stark's Mecca, and even held a hearing to get Tony to donate the Mecca. But with Tony, Stark's temperament, it is definitely not that simple for the military to successfully obtain Mechas and related technologies. Well now, Justin is dead, and the military has a good excuse to get Hammer Industries technology. So, you're saying they're going to trouble me for a dead man? Su Yu saw the whole thing very thoroughly. The main purpose of his knocking on the door this time was revenge. If Justin is willing to trade Hammer Industries for a chance of survival, maybe Su Yu will really let him go. However, things backfired, Justin was too tough, Su Yu had no choice but to kill him completely. After listening to Su Yu's analysis, Ivan Banki felt a chill all over his body. I have to say, what Su Yu said is very reasonable, who would provoke some powerful guys for a dead man. What's more, this dead man's family property is very rich. Are you Ivan Banki? Su Yu said lightly. You know me. Ivan Banki was a little surprised. Hee hee, not only do I know you, I also know that you hooked up with Justin in order to use his power to deal with Tony. Stark. Ivan Banki did not deny that it was the central matter. If Mr. Su can help me realize this wish, I am willing to sell my life to you. Presumably to you, I still have some value. Ivan Banki actually wants to surrender to Su Yu at this moment. It's a good proposal, but you're hard to believe. Besides, with your crazy, anti-human nature, if you stay here, I don't know how much trouble it will bring me in the future. So, you'd better go with Justin and meet the god of your envelope. As soon as the words fell, another laser shot out from Su Yu's palm, killing Ivan Wonk in an instant. Everything is settled, this time we won't destroy the corpse. I want everyone to know that if you provoke me, Su Yu, be prepared to be killed by me. After finishing all this, Su Yu activated the mech, and his body transformed into a streamer and flew out from the floor to ceiling window. He still doesn't know how much trouble he will cause tonight. The latest news, Justin Hammer, the president of Hammer Industries, was killed in the company last night. Who is the murderer? Please continue to pay attention. From our station, there was a violent conflict on New York Avenue last night. According to insiders, an unknown mech appeared at the scene of the crime. History of Iron Man Tony Stark denied that the Mecca was dispatched last night. Whether he is related to the case on New York Avenue, we will continue to pay attention to this matter. The next day, a piece of explosive news appeared in the major newspapers. The public was also shocked by these news, Justin Hammer, that is the helm of Hammer Industry. His name can be said to be known to everyone, to everyone. 
However, such a big shot would be killed in his own company, this kind of thing is simply unimaginable. Oh my god, the murderer is too bold, isn't this a blatant challenge to the laws of our country? I want to know more about the unknown mech that appeared on New York Avenue. I heard that someone was blown to pieces by a bomb. Stark Industries and Hammer Industries are rivals. I think this matter has something to do with Iron Man. I heard that Hammer Industries has also mastered the mecha manufacturing technology, and plans to hold a mecha exhibition in half a month. I didn't expect the helm of Hammer Industries to be killed at this juncture. No matter how you look at it, it has nothing to do with steel. After all, there is a problem with Hammer Industry, and he is the biggest beneficiary. Tony Stark is also very annoyed by the disturbing news on the internet. He has received a lot of calls today, and even the police came to ask him to cooperate with the investigation, explaining in detail what he did last night. After finishing the notes, Tony was depressed for a long time. Although Justin Hammer was killed, he felt very happy in his heart. But it would be so aggrieved to let him become the blame man. In the New York City Police Department, George Stacy was about to be driven crazy by the major media, and reporters from countless news media surrounded the police station early in the morning. I have been asking him when he will be able to solve the case and whether he has found any clues about the murderer. In addition, the superior also paid considerable attention to this case and ordered him to solve the case within a week. Georgeton felt a lot of pressure. Judging from the clues he got, the guy who killed Justin was by no means easy. It would be very troublesome if the New York police alone were to deal with it. At the same time, Phil Coulson and others are holding a top-secret meeting. Compared with the NYPD, S.H.I.E.L.D. has obtained quite sufficient intelligence. The two cases last night, everyone already knows, right? Phil Coulson crossed his arms and gave humanity to Ward, Natasha Romanoff and others. Um. Everyone nodded. Let me talk about the result of my inference first. From the evidence we have, this is a revenge murder. Phil Coulson justified the case directly. No one else said much, including Natasha Romanoff. Last night on New York Boulevard, two mechas wanted to attack Su Yu, but he killed them all. One mecha pilot died on the spot, and the other was taken away by him. After our investigation, we learned that these two mechs are from Hammer Industries. One hour after the mech pilot was captured, Justin Hammer was killed in the company. Through investigation and monitoring, we can confirm that the one who killed Justin was a figure driving a silver mecha. Coincidentally, during the conflict on New York Avenue, Miss Gwen was driving the same mech. So, it was clear at a glance that Justin provoked Su Yu. After Su Yu learned about it through the captives, he came to the door to retaliate that night. Do you have any objections to this conclusion? Phil Coulson looked at the crowd and said seriously. Agent May and Ward shook their heads at the same time. Since that's the case, how should we treat Su Yu? Asked Natasha Romanoff. At this moment, she felt a little anxious, and didn't understand why the master had to be so high profile this time. Wasn't he very low-key before? Wasn't it a secret attack? This case has a huge impact and I need to report the matter. At this moment, Phil Coulson suddenly thought of something. He picked up the photo of, acute eyes, being killed and compared it with Justin briefly, and then took a breath. What's the matter, what did you find? Agent May asked in a serious tone. Unexpectedly, the guy who took down the Hydra branch turned out to be Su Yu. Look at the wound on acute eyes, is it exactly the same as the one on Justin? Agent May and Ward looked at the two photos at the same time. Sure enough, as Phil Coulson said, the two wounds were almost identical. It turned out to be him. Ward narrowed his eyes, and the killing intent in his heart surged endlessly. He has been tracking down who killed acute eyes, but he didn't expect such a result. What grudge does he have with Hydra? Why? Agent May was puzzled. Natasha Romanoff, you've been investigating Su Yu, why do you think he did it? Phil Coulson asked Natasha Romanoff. It should be because of Mike, he is a failed experiment of the Hydra Centipede Warrior Project, and he became an employee of Su Yu's company by chance. Su Yu seems to have helped him control the unstable centipede serum. Hydra had a conflict with Su Yu in order to get back this test product. This is the information I just investigated yesterday. Natasha Romanoff spoke solemnly. Su Yu once told Natasha Romanoff that she can disclose some information about herself to S.H.I.E.L.D., 
which will increase the bargaining chips for dialogue with S.H.I.E.L.D. Hearing this, Phil Coulson finally cleared his mind. There was a smile on the corner of his mouth. From this point of view, Suyu and Hydra are really on opposite sides. This is a good thing for us, S.H.I.E.L.D. Have you tried asking him to join S.H.I.E.L.D.? Phil Coulson snapped. I invited, but he didn't agree. He said that the S.H.I.E.L.D. staff is too complicated, maybe one day they will be overshadowed by the people around them, it's better to be free. She wasn't talking nonsense, this was Su Yu's true thoughts. It's fine if you don't join. I will report the case as soon as possible to see how the higher-ups plan to deal with this matter. Phil Coulson smiled lightly. Are we going to shoot him? Natasha Romanoff asked. Probably not, maybe the director will help him. Hydra's spies are hidden too deep. With Su Yu here, maybe it can help us deal with a large number of opponents. Phil Coulson knows Nick Fury's character so well, he can definitely do something like this. Hearing this, Natasha Romanoff secretly breathed a sigh of relief. Although she didn't think S.H.I.E.L.D. could do anything to the Master, it was very troublesome to be targeted by this organization. As Phil Coulson expected, after Nick Fury received the information he reported, he did not do anything to Su Yu. Instead, they used a few terrorists to blame Su Yu, making those unlucky guys the murderers of Justin. At the same time, he also showed kindness to Su Yu, allowing Natasha Romanoff to be the link between S.H.I.E.L.D. and Su Yu, hoping to have more opportunities for cooperation in the future. This result makes Natasha Romanoff very happy, because she can appear beside Su Yu openly in the future. With the intervention of S.H.I.E.L.D., a turmoil quickly calmed down. That night, when Su Yu returned to the villa and entered the bedroom, he found Natasha Romanoff sitting by the bed, as if she had been waiting for him for a long time. Natasha Romanoff, why are you here? Is there any information you want to report to me? Su Yu smiled at Natasha Romanoff. Master, Nick Fury wants to send you a message through me. He hopes to have friendly cooperation with you in the future. Natasha Romanoff stood up and said respectfully to Su Yu. Su Yu nodded. Tell him that I owe him a favor this time about Justin. In the future, when S.H.I.E.L.D. needs help, as long as it is not too much, I will consider it as appropriate. Natasha Romanoff nodded, she felt that maintaining a simple and friendly relationship with S.H.I.E.L.D. would be of great benefit to Master. Things like Justin would be a lot easier with S.H.I.E.L.D. involved. Okay, you didn't come here just to inform me about this, did you? In Su Yu's view, this kind of thing only needs to send a message, and there is no need for Natasha Romanoff to make a special trip. Master, now I can appear by your side openly and above board. Besides, as far as I know, Miss Gwen recently returned to Imperial College to live on campus because she was busy with her graduation thesis. At this time, Natasha Romanoff has the responsibility to help the owner resolve loneliness. Hearing this, Su Yu grinned. This, master-servant contract, is really overbearing, it can turn the famous Black Widow into a, little licking dog. Su Yu would naturally accept this result. Although Natasha Romanoff is not as young and beautiful as Gwen, she has the kind of maturity that Gwen does not have. At least for Su Yu who has the heart of a thief, he has a strong attraction. Ha 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 ha, you are considerate. Come on, let's take a shower together. After finishing speaking, she hugged Natasha Romanoff by the waist, and then walked towards the bathroom. Thousands of miles away from New York, here is a huge dam. Inside the dam, the vast space has been transformed into a state-of-the-art laboratory. At the moment, human trials are going on in a tightly guarded laboratory. I saw a bald man with severe burns on his face laid flat on the experimental table. The strangest thing was that the upper and lower lips of this bald man were stitched together, and he didn't know how to eat in this situation. Around him, a number of scientific researchers in white coats were busy busy. Outside the laboratory, Colonel Stryker in military uniform watched the experiment process with a solemn expression. At this moment, a soldier came from a distance and respectfully handed a portfolio to Colonel Stryker. Colonel, this is the information sent to us by the Hydra organization. Hearing the words, Hydra Organization, Stryker's face suddenly became extremely ugly. HMPH, Hydra, they have the nerve to find me again. The last time I borrowed Yuriko from me, what happened? It took me a few days to tell me that Yuriko was killed, leaving only a skeleton made of Edmund Alloy. 
The most annoying thing is that those stupid guys don't even know who the murderer is. Trash. All of them are trash. Colonel Stryker was cursing, but his hands kept moving. He quickly opened the file bag and began to read it carefully. Ten minutes later, he held a photo and fell into deep thought. The person in the photo turned out to be Su Yu. Those materials are all related to Su Yu, and it also introduces in detail the whole process of Su Yu taking down the New York branch of Hydra and killing the dead woman. Hee <laughs> hee, those Hydra have a good idea. Give me these materials just to let me do something about Su Yu. Stryker is also an old man, and he can see the purpose of Hydra at a glance. However, he had to admit that HYDRA's idea was correct, and he would definitely not suffer from this dull loss. The death girl means a lot to him, and if Su Yu loses it, he will definitely make Su Yu pay a heavy price. Come on, this experimental body will soon be transformed successfully. When the time comes, send him to rip that head off Su Yu. As for Hydra, wait, you rat-like things, sooner or later you will all be killed. Stryker's bleak words echoed outside the laboratory, making the soldier feel cold all over. Master, what is this? Natasha Romanoff was wrapped in a bath towel, holding a golden amber-like crystal injection, and looked at Su Yu with confusion in her eyes. A centipede serum without any flaws. Isn't that why you watched Mike before? Su Yu put his arms around Natasha Romanoff, speaking softly. Master, when did you research this thing? Natasha Romanoff said with a look of shock. You must know that Mike and Su Yu have known each other for only 10 days. The scientific research team under Su Yu must have developed the centipede serum in such a short period of time. Two days ago, Su Yu said casually. He can't say that this thing is rewarded by the system, can he? Master wants me to inject centipede serum. Natasha Romanoff asked tentatively. Yes, you are my servant. If you are too weak, I will despise you. Su Yu said half truth and half falsehood. Master, Natasha Romanoff will definitely not disappoint the master, I will inject the centipede serum now. As soon as she finished speaking, she decisively injected all the serum into the blood vessels in her arm. After signing the master-servant contract, Su Yu is almost Natasha Romanoff's heaven. If Su Yu rejects her, it's like the sky is falling. Ten minutes later, Natasha Romanoff completed her physical evolution. Since her physical fitness is much stronger than Gwen's, Natasha Romanoff's evolution process is not as painful as Gwen's. Feeling the explosive power in her body, Natasha Romanoff's face was full of joy. Master, I feel that the current strength is much stronger than before. Even if it's Captain America, I should be able to blow him up. Su Yu was a little speechless, when did Captain America become a measure of combat power? Or does Natasha Romanoff have some otherworldly obsession with Captain America? However, in Su Yu's view, Natasha Romanoff may not be able to take advantage of Captain America, which is 50 to 50 with anyone. After all, even the three generations of Little Spider-Man suffered a big loss when facing Captain America, which is a bit outrageous. Two days later, Gwen's graduation ceremony happened to be ushered in. As a super academic, Gwen was invited by Imperial College of Technology to give an emotional speech as an excellent graduate representative. After the speech was over, Gwen ran up to Su Yu excitedly, and threw herself into his arms like flying. Su, how was my performance just now? Gwen said coquettishly at Su Yu. Very good. I didn't expect my baby to speak such philosophical and inspiring words. You're just amazing. Su Yu praised without hesitation. Well, I did such a good job, is there any reward? Gwen raised her head and said seriously. Then reward tonight. Su Yu put his mouth close to Gwen's ear and muttered softly. How can it be? You're so bad. Gwen blushed and pinched Su Yu's waist hard. Ha ha, I'm not joking with you. I will definitely prepare a graduation gift for you. After speaking, he pointed to a parking space in the distance, and saw a red cool Ferrari parked there. On the hood of Ferrari, there is a circle of flowers and some balloons. This car looks like a gift for someone. Oh, my God. Dear Sue, is this car given to me? Gwen covered her small mouth, her face full of disbelief. No matter which woman she is, it is difficult to refuse the temptation of a luxury car. Although Gwen's family background is not bad, it is not luxurious enough to buy a luxury car. 
This thing, to put it bluntly, is present at birth, if not at birth, the probability of having it in this life is very slim. Definitely, this is my birthday present for you. This is the car key, would you like to try it? Su Yu took out a car key from his pocket and handed it to Gwen. Yeah. Gwen nodded repeatedly. Taking the car keys from Su Yu, he briskly ran towards the Ferrari. In the distance, Peter Parker looked at this scene with a lonely expression on his face. Although he is a Spider-Man with super strength, he is not comparable to Su Yu in terms of family background, appearance, or ability to make money. He can tell that Gwen really likes Su Yu, and he probably won't have much chance in this life. Moreover, he also recognized that Su Yu was the owner of the McLaren that he had met that night. It has to be said that this world is really a bit small. After the Ferrari started, Gwen drove and Su Yu sat in the passenger seat. The sports car let out a piercing sound wave, and quickly drove away from Imperial College of Technology. Gwen, where are we going now? Su Yu asked the cheerful Gwen. Go to the beach, I haven't been to the beach for a long time. Soon, the two came to a beautiful beach. Gwen took off her shoes and stepped on the soft sand with bare feet, leaving a series of small footprints. Su Yu followed behind her with tenderness on his face. Right here, with the excellent spider telepathy ability, he perceived a clever killing intent. Huh, there are enemies. There was a warning sign in Su Yu's heart, and he quickly swept around, trying to determine the exact position of the enemy. However, what puzzled him was that he had successfully locked the position of that person, but the next second, that person appeared in another direction, and his whereabouts were erratic like a ghost. He's a master. Su Yu murmured. Gwen, be careful, there are enemies. Su Yu reminded Gwen. Hearing this, Gwen immediately activated the nano mecha, but there are many people at the beach now, so in order not to attract attention, she just used the mecha to protect the fatal parts of her body. Su, where are the enemies? Gwen came to Su Yu with a nervous face. Su Yu didn't speak, he was using spider telepathy's ability to try to locate the exact location of the enemy. The speed is so fast, he is coming. As soon as Su Yu finished speaking, he saw a strange figure appearing out of thin air like a ghost more than a hundred meters to the left of the two. This ability. Teleportation. Su Yu's pupils shrank suddenly. No matter what kind of world it is in, teleportation ability is a very terrifying super ability. Not only is it impossible to defend against, but the key is to fight or run. It is all up to you. Facing such a super ability person, if you don't have strong control skills, it will be very troublesome. Fortunately, Su Yu happened to have the super ability to restrain his teleportation, the realm of gravity. As the distance drew closer, Su Yu finally saw the man's appearance clearly. Wearing a black and red tight fitting battle suit, carrying two long knives behind his back, and a pistol hanging on his waist. The weirdest thing is his face, his expression is dull, lifeless, his mouth is glued together, extremely ugly. Looking at this guy's appearance, he must be Deadpool transformed by Stryker, right? Su Yu said to himself. Because of the American comics world, only the modified Deadpool symbol is present in this person's image. System, scan this person's information immediately. Seeing that the man didn't attack immediately, Suyu decided to use the system's ability to confirm his identity. Instruction received, scanning. Name, Wade Winston Wilson. Age, 49 years old. Super ability, super self-healing, cyclops, superman physical fitness, fighting expert, weapon master, teleportation, realized by the space transmission device at the waist. Character's biography, originally a retired special soldier, in order to cure cancer, he participated in the Weapon X experiment and obtained a powerful self-healing ability. Recent incident, captured by Stryker and subjected to inhumane human experiments, he became a humanoid weapon with only a weak consciousness, longing for death and liberation deep in his consciousness. Investment index, four and a half stars. Sure enough, it's Deadpool, and it's still Deadpool transformed by Stryker. Having watched the X-Men series of movies, Suyu naturally knows how powerful Deadpool is after being transformed by Stryker. That's a tough guy who could easily pin Wolverine and his big brother Sabretooth to the ground and rub against each other. The four and a half star investment index made Suyu envious. 
With many investment experiences, he naturally understands how rich the feedback from investing in Deadpool will be. Do you long for death and liberation deep in your consciousness? Then how can we achieve these two points? Su Yu's thoughts kept spinning. Know that Deadpool has a more perverted self-healing ability than Wolverine. In the movie, he used various methods to try to commit suicide, jumping off a building, drinking poison, blowing himself up with a gasoline barrel, locking himself in the house and setting the whole house on fire. He tried countless ways to commit suicide, but he still lived well. But this does not mean that Deadpool is absolutely impossible to kill. As long as the self-healing factor in his body is suppressed and the super self-healing ability disappears, he can naturally be killed easily. Suppress his self-healing factor. Thinking of this, Su Yu's eyes suddenly lit up. His gaze involuntarily turned to the two steel knives behind Deadpool. As far as Su Yu knew, these two knives were all made of carbon sodium steel. Although this material is not as strong as Edmund Alloy, it has a super terrifying ability. That is, it can inhibit the self-healing factor in Mutant. In the movie, Deadpool tried countless ways to commit suicide, but he never tried to chop himself with a carbon steel knife. It can be seen that although Deadpool has suicidal thoughts, he doesn't necessarily want to die. It wasn't until he fell into the current situation that he had the idea of completely dying and being free. It seems that if you want to kill Deadpool, you can only start with the carbon sodium steel knife in his hand. Su Yu secretly thought. Su, do you know who he is? Aside, Gwen whispered. At this time, Su Yu noticed that Gwen did not completely cover the entire body with the mecha. This state is very dangerous to face Deadpool. Gwen, the double knives on that guy's back have the effect of suppressing the self-healing factor. You'd better let the mecha cover your whole body, it's safer. After finishing speaking, Suyu didn't neglect any more, and tapped lightly on the screen of the electronic watch on his wrist. The next moment, with the silver metal extending from his wrist, in the blink of an eye, his whole body was wrapped in the mecha. It was the first time Gwen saw Suyu face the enemy so solemnly. At this time, Deadpool was less than 20 meters away from the two of them. Suddenly, with a swipe, Deadpool's figure suddenly disappeared. Be careful. Su Yu reminded Gwen. At the same time, the spider telepathy's ability is raised to the limit, and the surrounding space changes are carefully perceived. Suddenly, there was a ripple behind him. A long knife slashed fiercely at Su Yu's neck with a whistling sound. Snort. Su Yu snorted coldly, turned around and punched out. Clang. Accompanied by the sound of clashing gold and iron, a powerful force burst out from Su Yu's fist, and instantly hit Deadpool's long knife. Under the impact of this force, Deadpool's body flew upside down, and disappeared with a, swipe. In the first round of power competition, Su Yu won. After all, Su Yu's physical strength is as high as 35 tons, while Deadpool's physical strength is only about 2 tons. There is a big gap between the two. The next second, Deadpool appeared strangely behind Su Yu, and slashed at him again. With excellent spider telepathy and fighting skills, Su Yu locked down his position again. In his hand, Tang Hengdao flashed out of thin air, and swept towards Deadpool behind him. Clang! Deadpool's long knife slashed at the mecha, and apart from a few sparks, the mecha was unscathed. At this time, Su Yu's long knife cut Deadpool's waist. Chila! The long knife sliced across Deadpool's body, leaving a horrible wound. Just when Su Yu was going to continue to make up the knife, with a swipe, Deadpool disappeared again. This guy's teleportation ability is really easy to use. If it weren't for spider telepathy, spider reaction, and powerful fighting skills, I'm afraid it would be really difficult for me to keep up with his movements. Su Yu thought to himself. On the side, watching the two of them fighting fiercely, Gwen couldn't help except to be anxious. Deadpool's figure is too fast, without spider telepathy, she can't catch Deadpool's trace at all. Therefore, even though she was ready to fire, she couldn't even find the target to attack. This guy is too fast, what should I do? I can't help Sue at all. Shut up. In the arena, the figure of Death God was unpredictable, turning into shadows and appearing around Su Yu. The steel knife in his hand slashed at Su Yu's mech again and again, but he couldn't break through the defense no matter what. And Su Yu always took the opportunity to leave a few wounds on his body after resisting his attack. 
Still, injuries like this are child's play for Deadpool. This time he was slashed, and the next time he flashed out, the wound on his body had basically healed. This is Deadpool's powerful self-healing ability. When Su Yu was slashed by Deadpool's double knives again, he instinctively swiped at him. But saw his eyes turned into gold like the sun, the next second. Chi Chi, two laser beams shot out from Deadpool's eyes, and instantly hit Su Yu's chest. Bang bang. Accompanied by two loud bangs, the mecha was sent flying tens of meters away by a powerful explosion force, and then landed heavily on the beach. I was careless. Su Yu cursed secretly. He forgot about this one, Deadpool's Cyclops are very powerful. He looked at the mecha on his chest, and found that the mecha, which had always been invincible in defense, had been hit with two cracks. It seems that I can only do it with all my strength. Su Yu cursed secretly. First, he controlled the mecha, quickly repaired the two cracks on his chest, and then stood up. At this time, Deadpool flashed out again, and the two laser lights in his eyes were charged and were about to shoot out again. Oh, come again. Do you really think you can succeed every time? The realm of gravity. Su Yu shouted loudly, a terrifying force of gravity appeared out of thin air, and instantly acted on Deadpool's body. Plop. This sudden force pushed Deadpool to the ground, and the two laser lights in his eyes deviated from the direction and shot towards the sandy beach under his feet. Chi Chi. Under the strike of the laser light, two potholes of unknown depth instantly appeared on the ground. I'll see how you teleport this time. A sneer appeared on the corner of Su Yu's mouth, and he slashed at Deadpool's right arm. Deadpool quickly swung his knife to block, but under the effect of gravity, his speed was ridiculously slow. There was a, Kyla, accompanied by a flash of knife light. Deadpool's right arm was severed instantly. With a flash, Su Yu held a carbon nanosteel knife that had fallen to the ground in his hand. Then he smiled at Deadpool, honestly, I'll help you out. Saying that, Su Yu raised the carbon sodium steel knife, and slashed at Deadpool's head fiercely. Su Yu didn't hold back the slightest bit of this knife, if he hit Deadpool, he would definitely split his head in half. Although he has only fighting instincts and not much self-awareness, Deadpool still senses the danger. He tried his best, and finally succeeded in using the teleportation ability when Su Yu's long knife was about to hit his body. Brush. Deadpool disappeared once again. Boom. Su Yu slashed the ground with his knife, and with his tyrannical force, he split the flat sand into a crack more than 10 meters long and 20 centimeters wide. Huh. Did you escape at a critical moment? After suffering such a big loss this time, shouldn't that guy think about running away? Su Yu murmured. Once Deadpool gives up his goal and wants to escape, with Su Yu's current ability, there is no way to stop him. However, Su Yu's worries are unnecessary. Colonel Stryker is very confident in Deadpool's ability. He doesn't believe that Su Yu still has the ability to resist after Deadpool's attack. He gave Deadpool a death order to kill Su Yu at all costs. Therefore, it is absolutely impossible for Deadpool to give up his goal and escape before completing his mission. In the next second, Deadpool's figure flashed out more than 10 meters away. Shish. Two laser beams shot out from his eyes and shot towards Su Yu again. Hee hee, you're smart this time, you actually want to distance yourself and use laser light to deal with me. Such thoughts flashed in Su Yu's mind. Facing such an attack, he stretched out his palms, and two laser beams shot out from his palms. A beam of laser light crashed into the attack, and the other shot towards Deadpool's waist. The target was the space device that allowed Deadpool to teleport. With a, bang, the laser light hit Su Yu's body again, pushing him back continuously. At the same time, Su Yu's laser also hit Deadpool's waist. Accompanied by a dull cracking sound, the space teleportation device was instantly destroyed, and even Deadpool's body had a large, fist-thick hole that was translucent from front to back. Hee hee, let me see how you teleport. With one hit, a smile appeared on Su Yu's face. He extended the scope of the realm of gravity to hundreds of meters around. While the increased range affects the strength of gravity, it does more to hamper Deadpool's movement ability. Now you are a living target, let me see where you escape. The voice fell to the ground, Su Su. Two more laser beams shot out from Su Yu's palm, hitting Deadpool instantly. Puff. Deadpool's body was instantly split into three sections by the powerful laser and scattered all over the ground. 
After finishing all this, Suyu came to Deadpool step by step with the carbon sodium steel knife in hand. He looked down at Deadpool's body, and found that at this moment, Deadpool Defective's body was growing rapidly, and pieces of flesh seemed to have life, spreading to other flesh tissues. In no time, Deadpool's chest and legs were pieced together and healed quickly. Only the head was left rolling down in the distance, but the blood on the ground was like ropes, pulling the head towards the body. Oh my god, isn't this guy's self-healing ability too scary? Sue, can this monster really be killed? At this time, Gwen came to Su Yu, looking at Deadpool's body wriggling on the ground, his eyes were full of shock. Hee hee, it is naturally difficult to kill him with ordinary means. It's no exaggeration to say that even if you leave him a little bit of meat, he may be resurrected again. However, with this knife, killing him is not a fantasy. Su Yu waved the carbon sodium steel knife in his hand, and said indifferently. Is this the knife that can suppress the self-healing factor? It doesn't look like anything special. Gwen touched the carbon sodium steel knife, his eyes were strange. While the two were talking, the ropes, made of blood had pulled Deadpool's head to his torso, and they were about to be spliced together. Brush. A bright blade flashed across Deadpool's neck in an instant. The head that had just been glued together was chopped off again. Su Yu and Gwen looked at Deadpool's wound at the same time, and they could clearly notice that Deadpool's regeneration ability was greatly suppressed. Although the wound was still growing rapidly, compared to the previous speed, it was unknown how many times slower. Huh. It actually worked. This knife is terrible. Gwen said with a serious face. It seems that this time I can get rid of this guy once and for all. Su Yu's tone was very indifferent. He raised the carbon nanosteel knife and stabbed at Deadpool's body. In the blink of an eye, countless wounds appeared on Deadpool's body. In the end, those wounds completely lost their ability to heal, blood gushed out, and in the blink of an eye, the ground under Deadpool's body was stained red with blood. Su, do you want to kill him? Gwen couldn't bear it. And what Su Yu is doing now, no matter how you look at it, it looks like whipping a corpse. Although she understood that Su Yu's decision was the wisest choice, Gwen still felt a little unbearable. He's a transformed mutant whose self-awareness has largely disappeared. Strictly speaking, he is no longer a living person. He can only be regarded as a murder tool manipulated by others. So, killing him completely can free him from suffering. While Su Yu explained, he continued to torture Deadpool's body with a carbon nanosteel knife. After a few minutes, Deadpool's vitality became weaker and weaker, and finally disappeared completely. At this moment, the familiar system prompt sounded in Su Yu's mind. Ding, congratulations to the host for helping Deadpool out, the investment was successful, and investment feedback is in progress. Ding, congratulations to the host for helping Deadpool out, the investment was successful, and investment feedback is in progress. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the Blade of Death reminder, the Blade of Death is made of a combination of Edmund Alloy and Carbon Sodium Steel, which combines the hardness of Edmund Alloy and the characteristics of Carbon Sodium Steel to inhibit the self-healing factor. Congratulations to the host for obtaining Super Ability Space Teleportation. After hearing the system's notification tone, Suyu's face showed ecstasy. The Blade of Death. Spatial teleportation. A weapon, a super practical super ability. Su Yu's consciousness sank into the system space, and he found a purple red long knife quietly floating there, and some mysterious gold patterns were engraved on the knife body, making this knife mysterious and dignified. Besides the attributes of this knife, the blade of death is obviously stronger than Deadpool's carbon steel knife, and at the same time, it takes into account the characteristics of carbon steel to inhibit the self healing factor. Healing abilities mutant or super ability, Suyu will be much easier to fight with it. Hee <laughs> hee, what a good knife. Suyu's heart was full of fire. If it wasn't for the fear of exposing the secrets of the system space, he could not wait to summon the death blade and play with it to his heart's content. Pressing the impulse in his heart, Suyu turned his attention to the new super ability fed back by the system. Spatial teleportation, this is the super ability that Suyu dreams of possessing. With this ability, where can the world go? Through a systematic explanation, Su Yu learned that this ability not only allows Su Yu to continuously teleport in a small area, but also enables ultra-long distance teleportation as long as the destination coordinates are determined. 
Very similar to the ability variant of the Red Devil in X-Men. It has to be said that Su Yu is very satisfied with the system's investment feedback this time, which is simply a wave of fat. Su, is he already dead? Besides Su Yu, Gwen asked in a low voice. Su Yu put away the mecha on his body, smiled and said, it is indeed dead. The danger has been lifted, and you can also put away the mecha. Gwen put away the mecha obediently, and solemnly said with a small face, this person is really too strong. Not only does he have a super self-healing ability, he can also emit laser light and teleport. Su, what do you think of him? How much do you know about your identity? It can be said that Deadpool is the most powerful among the superpowers she has ever seen, except definitely Su Yu. According to the information I know, this guy is originally a mercenary, and he is very principled. He will only kill some evil guys. Originally, he was only good at knives and hot weapons, and he also possessed a certain amount of self-healing ability. But I didn't expect that he was transformed into this appearance by someone, and he turned into a monster. Su Yu put away the two carbon sodium steel knives on the ground and explained patiently. Who is behind the scenes that turned him into this? Gwen continued to ask, she always felt that Su Yu seemed to know everything. Hee hee, I really know who it is, but I won't tell you about this kind of thing. Just live happily and don't worry about these messy things. Su Yu tapped Gwen's little head lightly, and said in a loving tone. HMPH, look down on people, I'm also a super ability user now, okay. Gwen muttered dissatisfied. At this moment, I don't know how many people around are watching the battle here from a distance, and some even recorded the video. They were all stunned, and the fighting methods of both sides refreshed everyone's perception. It's unbelievable, there really is such a super ability as teleportation in the world. Those two mechas are really cool, and they feel more advanced than the ones on Iron Man. Humans can actually emit laser light from their eyes. Let me pinch it to see if I am dreaming. It hurts so much, why don't you pinch yourself? Now that dead man is dead, shouldn't we call the police? Report the hammer to the police. The police may not be able to beat them, right? Besides, no matter how you look at it, the guy who was killed is to blame. Hearing the noisy discussion in the distance, Suyu scratched his head helplessly. Now it's completely exposed, and it's estimated that it will be on the headlines of the news tomorrow. He took Gwen's little hand and quickly ran towards Ferrari. Run, we're going to be famous. At this moment, Gwen realized how terrible the noise they made was. The two hurriedly got into the car, kicked the accelerator and left here quickly. Not long after they left, police cars roared towards them. In a short time, the place where Su Yu fought just now was surrounded. George Stacy was surveying the site with a solemn face, and got some videos from the surrounding people. After seeing that Su Yu and Gwen were involved in this case, George's expression became extremely serious. He ordered his subordinates to pack up Deadpool's body and rush towards the police station. He called Gwen as he walked. Gwen, bring Su Yu to the police station immediately. NYPD, George stared at Su Yu and Gwen with an ugly face. It never occurred to him that the son-in-law whom he recognized from the bottom of his heart would actually bring his daughter to do such a thing. Moreover, in connection with the Mecca incident that appeared on New York Avenue last time, George thought of many things. Gwen, tell me, what happened to the Mecca on your body? Did you participate in the conflict on New York Avenue last time? Seeing her father's stern eyes, Gwen shrank her head and said timidly, yes. There is no way to deny this kind of thing. George can sit in the position of the chief of the New York City Police Department, and he is not a fool. How can he be so fooled? Where did the Mecca come from? George asked again. I gave it to protect Gwen's safety. Su Yu didn't want Gwen to bear this pressure alone, and said frankly. Hearing this, George suddenly felt a tightness in his chest. He had investigated this son-in-law, and he knew very well how terrifying the scientific research capabilities he possessed. But he didn't expect that he could even make a nano-mech, and the key point was to give his daughter a set. Although Gwen was involved in dangerous things, a set of nano-mechas was given away as soon as he said it, which can also show Su Yu's love for Gwen. Now, George, the old father, felt even more entangled and uncomfortable. Then what happened to the battle on the beach today? How do you also have a super ability? 
George felt that his brain was running out, and there seemed to be countless secrets hidden in Suyu's body. If it wasn't for his super ability, he wouldn't have been able to chop off one of his tails during the Lizardman incident and let Gwen do research. It's also impossible for Gwen to develop an antidote to turn the Lizardman back into a human. That New York crisis would not be resolved so easily. As for the mysterious killer today, I don't know what his purpose is. There is a high probability that I have something he needs, right? Su Yu first invited credit for himself, and then said that he knew nothing about Deadpool, and never mentioned anything about Hydra. He also didn't want George, the future father-in-law, to be involved in these matters. After all, no matter which side it was, it wasn't George who had the ability to get involved. George's face twitched, and seeing that there was nothing to be asked from Su Yu, he let them leave the police station impatiently. Thanks for watching.